Squirrels are going nuts this time of year, burying their food to save for the winter. But these critters play an important role in the sustainability of plant life in the forest. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga is digging deeper, kind of like a squirrel, to find out why so many acorns fell this year. While raking your yard, you may have noticed a large amount of acorns mixed in with the fallen leaves. There's a good reason. This is a mast year for oak trees. Oak trees don't produce acorns every year, but the Ohio Department of Natural Resources reports that a higher number of white and red oak trees are producing acorns this year than the long-term average. This is known as a mast year, where an abundance of acorns will fall. Scientists do not know exactly why they occur, but one of the main theories behind it is predator satiation. Where the, the trees overwhelm the seed predators, and that way, you know, they get their, their fair share, they get their fill, but there are some out there left to be, you know, left alone, essentially. While it is unknown exactly why it happens, experts have been able to predict that mass years for oak trees are about every two to five years. You know, in a year when trees are making a lot of acorns, they're investing a lot of resources into that. And that makes the next year tougher for them to do that. Um, so they kind of have to recoup, essentially. Oak trees take between 20 and 40 years to begin acorn production. And their relationship with wildlife like squirrels and blue jays allows for new trees to sprout. Acorns are also a valuable food source for a variety of wildlife. And part of their strategy, the oak strategy for dispersal, is that critters like them. And they carry them off, especially squirrels and bury them and things like that to, to help um, you know, make sure there's more oak trees in the future. Meteorologist Cameron Saliga, 2 News.